G'day to you. You're watching this video and it's being recorded live on Facebook. And today we're going to be talking about tactics versus strategies and how you can have a business that's profitable and enjoyable by implementing a few strategies instead of going after tactics um, that don't amount to anything. All right. So I will be segueing across and welcoming those people that are going to be watching this video live. And I see Robert Broca is in the house. How are you doing? Nanny, Jason, how are you too? And I see Felipe Companion is also watching. Thank you so much guys for tuning in. It's the official lunch and learn and I'm hoping you guys have had a fantastic week so far. Now while everybody else is tuning in, grabbing their seat and getting ready for the show, I'll just put this down a little bit um, and then just pretty much introduce my name, the show and what it is that we're going to be talking about. Um, if you used your first time watching this, please type in the number one, actually type in the number one if this is your first time watching the lunch and learn i see bihari babu is also tuning in lots of new faces today i don't know um what the algorithm has done or is it introducing us to a new crowd anyway my name is prosper tarowinga and uh, basically i lead a team here um at live long digital um of digital marketing experts that are here to help you as a small business owner, um, you know, to grow essentially through digital marketing strategies. So I help you create and also create a digital footprint so you can optimize your business, um, you know, for growth and also for profit. And every single day at 2 p.m. AEST with the company of people like Robert, uh, Nicole and the rest of the crew that's going to be tuning in. Um, you know, we sit around here for 30 minutes and we discuss how we can help you earn more money with less struggle. So essentially I help you build a couple of systems using the online prosperity blueprint where you actually um, capture the right kind of leads. You We create the content um, uh, together so that you can engage your audience, educate them, inspire them, provide value and position yourself as the person um, you know they should follow through. So if you also want a copy of this blueprint, type in um, you know, the words blueprint and I'll definitely shoot you through a copy, um, you know, of the uh, blueprint. Liz Bokani, Zirise, I'm hoping that 2018 is looking fantastic, um, you know, for you so far. All right. So basically, I want to help you generate leads and revenue and basically work around the clock with your PR content building and, um, you know, your branding so that you can um, create for and relate to the audience that you're going to be demanding money off of. All right. So basically today's show is, um, um, you know, a continuation from yesterday's show where we were talking about how Facebook has changed the algorithm and how a lot more people are finding it difficult um, since they had been used to using Facebook as a platform and now since they've changed, um, you know, the, the algorithm and everything else, nobody gets to see their content. Um, it's now a really confusing place to be. So I've, I've had a lot of emails coming through. I've set in, um, a couple of calls, uh, so far with people just explaining, um, to them what the algorithm is going to look like. And there's a lot of fear out there on the marketplace. Um, there's a lot of, um, you know, other people that are trying to capitalize, um, you know, in this whole confusion. And I really just want to let you know that there's nothing to worry about. There's nothing to fear. And there's really, really nothing that you have to realign or calibrate or readjust. As long as you've got your strategies in place, right? There's a lot of tactics that are out there that can make your business profitable and enjoyable. And most of the tactics that you would have found when you Googled Things like how to make money online are definitely not going to be helping you out in 2018. So if you got your business or you created your business out of a Google ad or a Facebook ad that told you that you could sip a pina colada and watch your novel by the beach side, I'm here to tell you that all of that was a deceiving uh, ad. You really need to have strategies in place in order for you to be, do and have a business that's profitable and enjoyable. So those that are just tuning in, thank you, thank you so much. And um, I also want to just give you a big warning that do not pay 
anyone that's going to be giving you simple or proven instructions or strategies on how to achieve any goal because if they're simple and if they're proven that means they have already tried it sold it to a lot more other people you're not going to be the only person that's going to be um you know putting those um you know out um out there my biggest advice to you is whatever you're going to do get rich slow that's the only way you're going to make it um, in 2018 and beyond, all right? Everything that's designed for you to get rich quick or, you know, get this thing fast or do this snappy snap, all of those things are not going to work for you. I mean, and if it does, please come and pull me out on that and say, hey, Prosper, look at my get rich quick scheme worked. And yeah, now you can go eat a fat one, all right? So at the end of the day, there's always going to be a next big thing coming up around the corner. There's always going to be people that capitalize on information. The more somebody knows, the more they can utilize that information against, um, you know, um, other people. So it's, it's, it's quite easy for, you know, people like me and you to be taken for a ride. And it's quite easy for the everyday person who is not um, viscerally invested in growing themselves uh, to be taken advantage of. Those people that are following <coughs> the whole Bitcoin saga, I'm not qualified to talk about it, but it's also yet another big thing that's just going to come down because what goes up has to come down. Now, we've just literally seen Facebook giving up on people that it had taken, um, you know, you know, their money from and now it no longer, you know, it's no longer supporting uh, everyone. So this is now the flipping point of, um, you know, social media. And it's now time for us to actually implement strategies that actually work. All right. There's always going to be the next big thing. No matter what space you're in, there will always be something that vies for your attention, that vies for your money. And the whole big process has become accelerated because it's now easy to connect with people over the internet. So there's going to be maybe a new social media network that will be showing up, a new marketing channel or strategy practically every six months all right so this whole facebook thing that just came about it's it's nothing new really we saw it coming a long time ago that's why we shifted from pages to private profile that's why we started um you know the all uh, the, uh, the the australian business online directory but it's people that just jump in for tactics that don't see things coming because they're just you know, looking out for instant gratification. And that's the reason why a lot of people cry foul when things change in front of them, all right? So, you know, the, the problem with constantly changing and chopping and changing your strategies or, or tactics for the next trick or whatever shortcut or, you know, thunderbolt in a bottle, it's exhausting. It's literally exhausting because you have to constantly change who you speak to. You have to constantly change your market. You have to constantly change your website or whatever platform you're using. Why not just stick to certain principles that you know, no matter what's going to come in, you're going to see if it fits into your program, not you trying to fit into their particular program. All right. So if um, if you've got any tactics that you've been using good on you, um, this whole Facebook thing is not going to phase you at all. All right. So in fact, a lot of people that are not careful, um, you know, if you're f following shiny objects every single day, it might put you out of business altogether. You know why? Because all these shiny objects need to be paid for, they need to be looked after, and they need attention. All right. So the more attention you're putting to them, the more attention you're not giving to your business. And guess what happens? You fall out of business altogether. So today I'm going to try and outline a few strategies that I use for my business. I'm not saying I'm a guru or I'm, I'm, I'm the be it and end all, but my business has stood the test of time. My business has helped other businesses grow as well. And my business is, has generated more income than I could ever do anything with personally and for other people as well. So if you haven't done any of the things that I've mentioned, you really want to be watching this video right now. So with a show of hands or with a show of likes or comments, can you please tell me what business you 
um, operate in? What's your niche? If you can just type in the niche that you operate in, just so that I see if this video is going to be relevant, um, you know, for those that are online right now. Now, Duncan Musaka, thank you so much for tuning in. Robert says, it sure hasn't faced Tom. He has now a nice steady income and a new girlfriend. <laughs> good on him. Good on him. Because I think it was... Um, Hold on, was it Sun Tzu? Yes, yes, in the art of war, Sun Tzu, exactly. Um, he mentioned something spectacular. He says that victorious warriors win first and then they go to war, all right? While defeated warriors go to war first and they seek to win, all right? So if you automatically go into the battlefield and you know you have won already, do you know what I mean? If you know that your, your enemy has already been defeated and in your head the battle has been won, you're just going to play a replay, um, you know, um, in, in real life, you will definitely win that battle. There's things like that that elite athletes do. They already go, um, you know, to battle or they already go into the race knowing they're going to win no matter what. And, and, and that's normally 99% of what the outcome is. But if you're going to just be reacting to what is happening around you in terms of business, in terms of relationships, in terms of your wealth, then you're literally going to be left like a fish out of water. All right. Broker says um, teaching people how to connect with a joy. Yes, that's your that's your niche. Pretty much, that's good. And I see Chad Tuma has also tuned in. Thank you so much, my man, for the support. I'm really hoping you and your family are doing fantastic out there. All right. So, as I was saying, a lot of business owners and, and, and entrepreneurs, they're constantly seeking for a new way to get ahead. And half of the time, all of those things that they look for or end up doing, it's just surface level stuff. You know what I mean? Stuff that's not deep enough to build um, in their business on a solid foundation. Do you know what I mean? So there's things like, yeah, Facebook ads, um, you know, uh, you know, PPC campaigns, some SEO tricks that are called black hat tricks. And people are just jumping from whatever social network to another, whatever, um, you know, um, you know, new shiny object or whatever, any new thing that has just come up and, and they're running giveaways just so that they can build an email list. Let me tell you something. It's good to have an email list because you're asking for those customers permission so that you can sell to them a little bit later on. But if you're going to bring in somebody who doesn't care about your product, somebody who doesn't care about what you've got to say, somebody who doesn't even know who you are or what you stand for, it will be much more expensive to try and convert that customer instead of you creating for and relating to your audience that already know, like, and trust you. All right. So there's certain strategies that I literally um, use to stay ahead of the game, to know what's coming up and um, eventually also advise my audience and my clients so that they can avoid the mistakes that a lot of people are actually making as we speak. There's a lot of people that are crying foul because Facebook changed the algorithm. But guess what? That shouldn't worry you if you've got a foundation in place. That shouldn't worry you if you know where you're headed to. That shouldn't worry you if your goals are in place. All right? A lot of people that are crying foul is people that don't have a strategy. It's people that are just hoping that they wake up, put stuff out there, and somebody's going to, um, you know, buy their stuff or, or read or consume their content. You know? The problem is with, with strategies like this, you know, you're typically trying to game the system. The system is fecal. It has a way of trying to recorrect itself. And when it recorrects itself, a lot of people cry foul. That's why even in a really good economy, you have a depression, you have inflation, whatever goes up will have to come down at some point. So I find it funny when I see people hanging on to, you know, you know, you know, mediums that are on a, on a, on a frontal projector or a trajectory, do you know what I mean? But can you not see that at the end of that upward stream, there's always going to be a downward spiral? And that's when people forget to actually build a concrete house and they're going and riding that wave. So this is one of those times in our history and in our marketing, um, you know, um, 
you know, stage that you actually get to realize you cannot build a business based on other people's profiles. And a lot of the tactics that are being put on the market there, they're just designed to game the system, you know, or a market based on whatever current structure or culture that's being happened. And if it changes, sometimes it happens in an instant, just like what has just happened now. A lot of people cry foul. All right. So at the end of the day, if you're going to be using whatever get rich quick tactics or, you know, get, um, you know, get more clients or get more traffic tactics, this can be valuable for a business in your short term, but they're not worth nothing once the system or the market recalibrates itself, just like what we're experiencing right now. All right. So at the end of the day, some people might not even want to hear about this because, yeah, they feel like something Something new, they're missing out on something new that they should be jumping onto. But today I really want to show you that you only need to work on a couple of strategies and those will then formulate where your, um, you know, where your business is going or where your business is headed. All right. I was reading somewhere where they were saying that when a plane flies off from the, when it takes right and then from the runway, if it misses its destination by one degree when, it, when it's flying off, by the time it reaches where it's going, it would have been so far away from its target by 500 miles. Now, can you imagine if you're starting a business today and then you just go in with the first shiny object that you pick up on the market without a proper strategy. By the time you go or by the time you reach where your destination is supposed to be, guess what happens? You will be 500 miles away from where you're supposed to be. And then you'd have lost a lot of time, money, and effort that you can never get back. All right? So figure out what are you good at? What services are you going to be providing your audience? What's the best way to reach out to them? How are they going to be paying you? How um, you know, are they willing and able to pay you for that? And then just go out there and put out as much value as you can into the marketplace. That's all you've got to really do, you know, because you're paid in direct proportion to the value you put in the marketplace. All these yaggedy yag strategies, tactics that you want to grab customers so that they like you or they temporarily share your stuff. It's all not going to be helpful in the future when they change the system, the strategies or the tactics on which you're basing your business up upon. All right. So that's where principles, values come in. Do you have any values that your business is built upon? Our business here at Live Long Digital, we're here to live, we're here to learn, and we're here to contribute, all right? The living aspect is the lifestyle that this business has afforded me and, and, and what my clients are also supposed to be enjoying so that they can be, do, and have um, a business that's profitable and enjoyable. All right. Learning is the, 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 the learning that we're doing every single day, putting stuff out there, learning from other people, showing and showcasing in webinars and, and, and educating our audience on what our services are, et cetera, et cetera. And contributing, contributing is what I'm doing every single day here, showing up um, at 2 p.m. AEST and, and, and putting out content and me contributing to the value and to the growth of other people's businesses. So whatever I'm going to be doing, whatever product I'm going to be introducing within the business, it's all going to be based upon those three principles. So that's where principles come in. So principles can actually help you to, to, to guide the direction in which your business and particularly your marketing in the right direction that would keep you from being led astray. Because every single day there's going to be a new shiny object that comes your way. And if you're not strong enough, if your principles are not ground in, I mean, are not deep enough, you know, you will sway. And when you sway, what happens? Like I said earlier on, when the flight is going off, if it misses by one degree, it, it misses by 500 miles by the time it gets, um, you know, to its destination. All right. So why not create a set of principles that govern your business so that no matter come hell, come high water, you are still stagnant. You're like that read in, 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 um, in the fast moving, um, you know, river. 
You know, so at the end of the day, in order for you to actually not have any stress, in order for you to actually not be worried about where your business is headed to and the confusion and the clarity that you actually need, just find out what am I needed for in this world? Like literally, will people miss you when you're gone? Because if you don't have that, all right, if you don't have that structure, if you don't have those principles, it will be difficult. If somebody comes and sells you this, you're just going to buy it. You know why? Because they told you that 500 other people before you bought it. But do you need that particular object? Do you need that course? Do you need that ebook? You know? So at the end of the day, figure out what are your values? What principles are actually the foundation of what your business is built upon? You know, they're the basis on how you will now start living your life. It will now give you clarity as to who you are actually supposed to be and how you're supposed to show up in this world. Because if you don't have anything that grinds you or, or, or grounds you or pulls you in and, and, and makes you honest, it will be difficult for people to know what it is that you actually do. And when people don't know what you, what you do, why would they pay you money? So figure out what are you needed for in this world? Who would actually pay for it and are they willing and able to pay for what I'm needed for? And once you have all those things together, it will be so easy for you to wake up and show up and do those things over and over and over and over and over and over again up until it sticks. Because what you're doing as a business person is trying to formulate people's habits, to change their habits, their way of life, and, and, and their time. Look at this time right now. This is 2 p.m. AEST, and I've created my business around this time of the day to make sure that I am available, nobody calls, etc., etc. So that also means the people that are going to be watching this would have to do something, move a little few things within their schedule so that they have that 30 minutes available for them to watch this show. That's a habit that needs to be created. And guess what? It takes 21 days for a habit to sink in. So if you're asking people to change habits, buy from you, listen to you, or contribute to whatever it is you're putting out there, then you got to have the patience and also the direction for them to follow. Because nobody's just going to follow just because you created a Facebook page. And guess what? They're not going to see it anymore because, you know, Mark Zuckerberg put a card to that. You know? And Robert says, and... And we do miss you when you're gone. Well, I hope so. You know, at the end of the day, I mean, going back to the examples that I mentioned earlier, a principle with regards to online marketing really, really should be providing maximum value to your target market through content and, and displaying of, of courage and knowledge and showing that you can actually help people by actually helping them. There's a big misconception. We actually think that people are watching our stuff, are sharing our content. People are busy living their lives. You know, people are busy listening to other people that they were listening to before the, you, you came in into the, into the, the horizon. So you don't want to be a one click wonder. So you want to build that audience of raving fans, but that doesn't happen quickly. Get rich slowly. Get fans slowly. Get people to know you, like you, and trust you. And then after that, prioritize and making that list bigger and making that your number one asset. Because right now you need permission to get somebody else's attention. So if you build a permission asset which grows every single day and people start realizing that you're here to stay, it makes it a whole lot easier for you to sell to those people three years down the line. So if you're not doing anything right now to build that asset, provide maximum value, and make sure you're providing content, then definitely what Facebook did was designed for people like you. All you got to do is make sure you're putting out maximum value because you're paid in direct proportion to the value you put in the marketplace right there. You know, 
What did you put out today or yesterday that people will be raving um, about? Have you ever been to like a circus or Sec du Solele or, or maybe like a theme park and then you, you go in and then you purchase the merchandise because you had so much fun, you wanted to have a lasting memory or a souvenir of that, um, you, know, um, you know, experience. Are people going to buy a t-shirt of the content that you're putting out there? Are people going to buy a souvenir of the things that you're putting out there? So that's the only thing you got to realize. People buy from people. But are you doing the things that those people would find you useful today, tomorrow, and consistently? So figure out with, you know, what principles are your business or is your business lying on? What are you there for? What would you be missed for? So with, with principles such as these in place, you know, your efforts will be consistently judged by basically the sound decisions that you make from that. As opposed to you being inconsistent and short term, um, you know, uh, and, and, and just reacting to whatever is happening on the market at that particular time. You know, so at the end of the day, make sure your principles and whatever it is that is guiding your business and whoever you're talking to or whoever you're speaking to knows who you are, knows what you are about, knows what you are offering. Because you're not thinking about how you can game the system. Rather, you're looking at how can you be of value and how can you maximize each principle in the long run. Because if you're known for something, if people can come to you for one particular thing, then that means you'll, you will last within their memory. You know? It's not every day that people are going to utilize your product. It's not every day that you're top of mind. But you must be the person that they can think of whenever they need to use your service. So be clear on who you are, where you're headed, so that people can jump on and jump off whenever they can. You know? So in life, never drive looking at the rearview mirror. It's exhausting. If you're always just going to be reacting to what's happening just because somebody's driving behind you or you can see them in your side mirrors and then that's when you want to accelerate. No, run your own race. That is governed by the principles that you are, you know, um, you know, formulating around your business. You know, and one other thing that people should really, really be careful about. Don't worry about the whole online part. Real business, real business deals are done offline. You know, create value, all right? And the online part will take care of itself. Because everybody's just really trying to have the next tactic, um, you know, in order to game the system. But that's only just going to frustrate you and frustrate your audience. And people have so much choice, you know? So, you know, another example of the difference between, you know, surface level strategies and um, underlining principles will be with what has just recently happened with Facebook pages. Facebook was just a strategy, you know, or if you're on Instagram, it's also just a strategy. Are you creating for and are you relating to the audience that you're going to be demanding money off of? All of these things, you got to have a message that literally goes to a market and the media can always change and flip the script on you any given time. But if you've got principles that are underlining how you deal with your clients, who you are and how you present yourself and what you're known for, it makes life a whole lot easier. You know, it clears the whole line of communication between your target market and what value you're going to be providing um, them, you know, with in, in, in the form of how are you going to be presenting that content? And guess what? The more you give, the more the market wants to reciprocate with you. But if you're just dabbling, if you're not clear, if you're not showing them where you're going, nobody wants to hang out around a one click wonder. They no longer see you as an authority. You know, so whatever you're going to be doing and putting out there, just make sure it represents who you are at the core, not just following whatever strategy. Because if you bought a strategy of somebody, you're not the only one who's using it on the market. You know, 
There's 500 other people that are using it on the market as well. So you are just a copycat of a copycat of a copycat. You know, right now, everybody's now looking, where is the next best thing? If another social network, um, you know, comes along, guess what? A lot of people are going to jump onto it right away without thinking just how to big, they, they, they just want to build a big following and not to miss out on the wave. But that's not it. Do the people really want what you're selling? Do they really like you as a person? You know? Is that really your target market? Do they really care about what you've got to tell them? I mean, you know, these days you can self-publish, you know, you can fall victim, whatever you choose, you can do it these days. You can fall victim to saying, oh, Facebook killed my ideas. But if you don't have principles in place, you'll be sitting on quicksand constantly just so you, you can stay afloat. You know, so what I really wanted to say today is, yes, whatever tactics are out there, let them be. Utilize your own strategies, you know, and by focusing on underlying principles as opposed to jumping onto every tactic here and there, your business won't get uprooted when, when things, you know, shift. Because you are holding on to evergreen principles that would never change. And the reason they won't change is because they're particularly yours. You know right? So in this way, it actually allows you to act more consciously as, as opposed to you just reacting to, you know, whatever is coming up. And, and, and it, it, it lets you be at the mercy of whoever, um, you know, platform you're working on. So I want you to use this simple idea just to guide your business or your brand when we're going into an age where tactics and strategies are a dime a dozen, but principles are going to be hard to come by. All right? I see Vivian, mom has just tuned in. Thank you so much for, for tuning in. I'm about to head off. I've got a really busy day ahead. Uh, my website just stopped working for some weird reason. Um, so I got to get back and attend to that. I mean, the, the team is attending to it right now, but I had to come and, and showcase on this live here. But all I really got to say is, Get rich slow. Work to create an audience that is willing and able to purchase your commodities. Don't just rush on to the next big thing just because it feels good. Find out what your principles are. And if you really are, and if you're in Australia, and if you really, really, really want to go in and work with conscious-minded entrepreneurs, we're creating a platform that is just going to take over, um, you know, where Facebook pages has left off from. So that's, that's where it's all headed to. And it's called the online, the Australian, Australian, <laughs> Australian business online directory. So if you want to know more about it, type in the words DIR that stand for directory, and I'll shoot you through a link for that. All right. Ideas, strategies, tactics, they're all a dime a dozen and everybody else is doing them. What are your principles? In the meantime, enjoy the rest of your day, guys.